Good morning from Williamstown. The weather reports were right. We got a ton of snow. Luckily, we came out here and uh, shoveled a little bit last night. So we did seven inches last night. There's another seven inches this morning. So, guess what? A couple of shoveling tips to save your back, okay? So all I'm gonna do to start with is grab my shovel because what we end up doing is we use our backs and it starts to really hurt. So let's avoid that today, people. So grab your shovel, just do a few squats just to get started. Take your time, okay? Trust me, this will be worth it in the end, okay? Get your hips warmed up and ready to go. I would suggest doing 10 of those because 10 is an easy number to remember. So I'll do about two more that's probably about 10. and by the way i'm one of those annoying people that really likes the snow okay so now one of the other things that we want to do to get your hips ready to take this weight of the snow just put your left foot forward and move that shovel so i'm moving my my waist my belly button's turning getting into those hips <laughs> getting some commentary from the house. I'll do that two more times. Okay, put the other foot forward. This is super important to get your hips ready to take the weight of that snow because your back's gonna wanna do it as you get tired. So get your hips in the game here. I'll just do a couple more of those with my right foot forward. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead get my feet nice and wide apart this will probably be the last one that we do okay so nice and wide apart i'm just going to go down and up with that shovel it's important to get your upper back also ready to help because we do tend to hunch over okay so i'm just going over my left knee that left hip and knee are bending taking all that weight now i'm going to go over to the right Taking all that weight, getting my hips and upper back ready to do what they're supposed to do. All right, one more. All right, that's three super easy moves to do. Before you shovel, maybe during your shovel if you're getting a little tired or you're starting to get sore, do those again and then do it after, so easy. And then your workout is like really done for the day. Okay, bye everybody.